group policy. One of the principal advantages of trust port management are the groups and the ability to assign different security policies to different groups. Click on the Policies tab where are two predefined policies available, one for the root group and one for unclassified computers. But these two policies may not suffice. So how do we create a new policy? Let's click on Tools and select Add New Policy. We fill in a name and a short description of the policy. Here we go. The policy is saved and ready. If you switch to the Policy Content tab, you will see two lists. Available policy items on the left and currently used policy items on the right side. Setting up a policy is rather intuitive. Select a module personal firewall for instance and move it right. This has obviously imported the default policy for personal firewall. In order to change, we need to expand the rule pack. Now, it is possible to change the settings. Do not forget to save the changes after you are done. To assign the policy to a group of computers or a single computer, it is necessary to switch to the Manage tab. Select a group and click on Tools. Now select Properties. Click on the Select button next to the name of the current policy. This one is inherited from the root group. Now we assign our policy from the policy catalog to the group. The server and the endpoint computers get periodically synchronized. So with the next synchronization, the changes we have just performed will be applied. Reports and License Policy This video will guide you through reporting and licensing of endpoint software using trust port management. Let's switch to the reporting tab first. As you can see, it shows detailed logs of all activities. If you want to see events concerning only a selected endpoint computer, use the filter. Now we will switch to the settings tab in order to register the software on many endpoint computers at once. We will click on License. All we need to do now is to enter the activation code and press Register. We fill in details about the owner of the license and confirm. And that's it. The management console takes care of everything else so by entering one activation code, different products on different computers can be registered all at once. Thank you for watching this and see you in one of our other training materials.